Hi, it's Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new tutorial in the series called With a Little Help from Max for Life. And today we're going to have a look at the rotating rhythm generator, which is a Max for Life MIDI effect included in the CV tools that is newly available from Ableton for free. If you thought the CV tools wasn't going to be helpful for you because you neither have modular synth nor anything that can be uh, controlled by control voltage, or nor you have the interface that is needed for it that is DC coupled, then you can still use the rotating rhythm generator because it's simply a Max for Life MIDI effect. And it's pretty cool. So we're going to use it to create patterns for bass lines uh, where we can change the root note and key as well. And we're going to need the CV tools, as I said. The link is included in the description. And then you can find it on the packs and CV tools. And there under CV instruments, actually. And I already have prepared um, a preset to get me started. And there I've set a baseline that basically um, is in A major. So the first note is A1, then C sharp 3, E2, and then A0. And I've also made some other settings already. And I already said that we want to be able to change the key as well. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go and grab us to scale presets, the C major first, and then also the C minor. And since we're in A at the moment, we're going to set both to A as the root note. So right now, the result would be C minor as the key, but we want to be able to switch between both. So what we're going to do is we can select all of them and then group them. And then we're going to map the on off button of the first scale to macro one. And the same we're going to do with the one from the second one. And then we can go into the mapping mode and we're going to start with major. So that will go from zero to 63. And then from 64, the encoder will activate the minor. Now, we're also going to map the transpose of both scale presets so that we can change the key basically and then we can have a quick try now it's minor it's not very visible in this case but um, as I said you can like rotate the key the notes here so when I rotate it to two then this will get the settings from four and this one gets, gets the settings from one instead and so on and so forth. So we can map this as well to macro three and let's have a try with that. Now you can hear that it's minor. Well, we wanted to have a base, so we're going to go into the mapping mode again, and we're going to adjust the transpose settings for min and max. We're going to just do an octave, so from 0 to plus 12. Let's see. Okay. So, and 
I'm actually going to map the division here for the E2 as well, or for the third node. And then, OK, set that. And then what's nice about this is as well, it doesn't just do normal node divisions and with offset and swing, plus some odds as well. It also does Euclidean rhythms and logic. With the Euclidean rhythms, we've got here 20 steps, and that will, in those 20 steps, we're going to get tw six plate nodes. And so we're going to map these to the remaining macros so we can switch between normal node divisions and the Euclidean rhythms. So that will give us a lot more options as well. And now we're pretty much done and ready to jam. As you can see, there's quite a lot of options of how you can manipulate the pattern to make it change in interesting ways. That works pretty well for live performance, I think. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.